is. Um, iterate for you guys. They are kind of in the intro. Are uploaded or are currently uploading, but I do want to talk about catering these meal plans to your own needs, and um, and if you have health um, goals that you are trying to um, accomplish. So first, remember that when you are making your bone broth, you need to adjust your shopping list so that you're not buying bone broth. Okay, um, I did. Let me go grab it real fast. I did introduce in the videos this product. Oh, can you see it? The lighting's kind of bad. So um, we've been putting that in our bone broth. And because I'm asking you guys to make more bone broth, so you're adding more water, um, add that to it. And it'll like gel it up a little bit more. It's really good for you. Um, OK, let's talk about uh, the meal plans. For you guys that are doing the intermittent fasting, or if you guys are, do if you are doing the full menu, I want to talk about carbs and insulin. So for this week, I have added the I've added two desserts. I did the muffins and I also did the peppermint patties. The peppermint patties are a little bit higher in fat. So if you are worried about weight and you want to lose weight, nix the honey. So don't put the honey in the peppermint patties, and um, and then make the peppermint patties because they will be higher in fat, less carbs. The muffins, however, will have more carbs and they have the maple syrup in it. So you probably don't want to make the, the muffins. So make sure you're adjusting your, um, your menu and your shopping list to cater to that. Same thing, um, where do you get the pectin or pectisol? Okay, so the pectisol C, you can order from us at the shop actually. Um, and because if you remember, you get the 20% discount as well. Um, and then Tristan, where did you get the Great Lakes gelatin from? From Redmond. So he got this from, what's that? You can get it online though. So look for it on Amazon. Okay. Yes. The peppermint patties are live, you guys, and they are really low carb, which is fantastic. So, um, so again, if you are worried about weight, do the peppermint patties. They're very filling and, um, and they're really good for you. Let's talk about weight loss and insulin resistance. I also mentioned this in the videos and I'm going to reiterate it again. Um, the reason why my green smoothies, I like that to hit your stomach kind of first in the morning. Um, if you are doing intermittent fasting, I want you to really control the sugar intake for that smoothie. I don't want you to go crazy with the fruit. So that's why I only put in that menu one pear or one apple, one serving of fruit. Um, because I don't want that insulin spiking. This is what happens with weight gain. So there's there's a few things you can do to help with weight, right? The first thing is cut out the sugar and cut out the carbs. Um, and then that will help to stabilize your blood sugar. So that's why I love doing more fats, lots of proteins. That's why you don't see a lot of grains in these menus. But what happens as well when you spike up your, your insulin is there is, I can't remember if it's an enzyme or something, but it actually blocks your body's ability to use fat as energy. So that's why, you guys, I am so adamant that we go to fat, 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 because fat fills you up. It helps with that ghrelin. So you feel full all the time. It's very satiating. It helps level out that blood sugar, and it also helps people lose weight. So fat, I'll say it again. Fat doesn't make you fat sugar makes you fat and carbs often turn into sugar. All right. So, um, so look at the menu plans. I did put some carby things on there, like the zucchini muffins. They're not terrible. Um, but they do again, have some maple. So if you want to substitute those, uh, zucchini muffins, zucchini souffle muffins for more nuts, um, or maybe you're doing like almonds and then like some blueberries, you are welcome to do that. But I just wanted to throw that in to kind of make it more fun and interesting for you. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, uh, let me know. Good luck this week. It should be a really good one. Um, it is also Halloween this week too. So if you guys need us to talk about that, let me know. Also, Friday is always ask us anything, you guys. And I know you reach out to us anyways throughout the week, but if you have any questions, please let us know. We are happy to help you. Um, and, and that's it.
Good luck.